Whenever a car company launches a special edition of a particular model, they tend to rather choose a cool moniker. Let's say for example, the Conquest, the Wild Track, and the Athlete. All of those come to mind. But when it comes to Mazda, they chose to rather give it a different name. This is the BT50 Pangolin Edition 2. So what's so special about the BT50 Pangolin Edition 2? Well, they did it for a very good reason. See, Mazda is helping to promote awareness on critically endangered species like the Philippine pangolin, hence the name. It's a kind of anteater that can only be found in the Palawan region, and Mazda is working with a non-government organization that's active in protecting and conserving wildlife. Now you see, this is the second time that Mazda did a pangolin edition. The first one was with the previous generation model that shared its bits with the old Ranger. Now, this new model is the one shared with Isuzu. Like the previous generation model, Mazda is offering the Pangolin Edition as a cosmetic package to the top of the line BT50 4x4. And when you compare it to the older model, Mazda has kind of toned down the styling of this newer model. Because if you've seen the first edition of the Pangolin, it had those wide fenders, the roof rack, and all sorts of other 4x4 accessories. And to be honest, this newer model looks kind of closer to the standard BT50 4x4. But what Mazda did was put in a special set of black 18-inch wheels, which were, by the way, made by Rota. Um, but they retained the tires, which are still Dunlop all-terrains. And now they sit flush with the fenders, which rather gives it a wider stance. Now let's move on to the back. As you can see, Mazda added a two-tone sports bar for the BT50 Pangolin Edition, which rather gave it a sportier look. But more importantly, when it comes to loading stuff here at the bed, they gave it an easy lift tailgate and a roller lid. This already comes free as a package in the Pangolin Edition. So you don't have to go to Banawe or any other accessory shops to have those ones installed. Now, inside the Pangolin Edition 2 is the same interior as that of the standard BT50 4x4. So you have this black interior with the brown leather and the silver accents here at the dashboard and the door cards. By the way, my driver's seat is and can be electronically controlled, but the passenger seat is still in manual adjustment. Now, moving on. We have the steering wheel right here, which is leather wrapped, and it feels really nice to the touch. On the left side of it, you have the infotainment system controls. On the right side, you have the controls for your adaptive cruise control, which by the way, works really well when I tested it. Now below it are the controls for the multi-information display, which is situated at the center of the binnacle, which is by the way, a combination of both analog and digital. The tachometer and the speedometer are still uh, analog, while uh, the digital screen displays the time, the fuel, uh, the gear indicator, as well as the temperature for the engine. So after that, we have this one right here. It's a 9-inch touchscreen head unit, which supports wireless Apple CarPlay, but you're going to need a wire if you're using Android Auto. So below it, you have a dual zone climate control system with these piano-like controls here. And below it, you have those USB charging ports, um, auxiliary ports for your audio system, as well as a 12-volt power outlet. So below it, unfortunately, this one doesn't have wireless charging. And what you have here is a cubby holder where you can place your keys or your cell phone, all that sort of stuff. After that, moving on. We have these, uh, the six-speed automatic uh, gear lever, which actually feels ergonomic, which feels nice to the touch. And you have these buttons here for your hill descent control, 
the rear diff lock and uniquely well it's rather weird because you have these buttons here for your seat warmers in a tropical country that's pretty much a bit odd one thing i do really like about the bt50 is it has a shift on the fly 4x4 system as you can see here on the knob it has a too high four high four low so when I need to shift from 2 high to 4 high, I don't need to slow down as long as I'm doing well below 60 kilometers per hour. But when you need to shift from 4 high to 4 low, you're going to need to stop the car and put it into neutral. Now, let's move on to the back. So now we're here at the second row of the BT50 Pangolin Edition. And as you can see, there's enough legroom for me to sit comfortably here at the back. And what's more importantly, you have these two rear air vents to keep you cool. And then above it, you have those uh, USB charging port. And at the side of it is a storage compartment. I think you can put your cell phone in here while it's charging. Now beside me is an armrest with two cup holders, which add up to the two more cup holders you can see at the doors of the pickup truck. Another thing I like here are the seat hooks, which can be really useful, especially when you're um, holding a lot of stuff and these grab handles right here so makes going in and out of the second row of the pickup a lot more easier another thing we I've seen here is there's a lot of speakers so you have four at the doors and you have two here at the uh, ceiling I also like these uh, black headliners because I think this one is the most hindi madumihin the headliner that I've seen in other pickup trucks. Like the rest of the BT50 lineup, the BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is powered by a 3-liter intercooled turbo diesel, which makes 190 PS and 450 Nm of torque. It's paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission and it has, as I mentioned earlier, a shift on the fly 4x4 system and a rear diff lock. I've been driving the BT50 for a couple of days now. And what I've noticed is that I think Mazda has done a good job in terms of sound deadening. Because they have kept the diesel noise down, it does not protrude much into the cabin. And as well as the other outside noises like the ones coming from the cars outside and motorcycles on the road. In addition, the BT50 feels a bit more planted when compared to other pickups. And a lot of it may have something to do with the lighter wheels. You see, when you have lighter wheels, the suspension does less effort in keeping it on the ground and that translates to a better ride overall. Not to mention when you have lighter wheels, your braking distance is shorter and it also helps with the fuel economy. Now speaking of fuel economy, I'm getting really decent numbers from the BT50. In the city, I'm doing around close to 10 kilometers per liter, 9.6, 9.8. And on the highway with the adaptive cruise control, I've been getting around 16, even 17 kilometers per liter. And the key point here is that the engine has the ability to keep the revs down. Because it's a big displacement engine, it does not need a lot of uh, help from the turbocharger to keep the pickup running. Now with that said, the BT50 I think can still benefit from a few more upgrades. Like for example, in the transmission. I think it could do better with an echo mode. I don't find the BT50 needing to have a sport mode because it's clearly not lacking in power. But while I was driving it in the city, I've noticed that the shifting point is a bit too high when you're coming from a standstill. You have to reach, I think, uh, up to 2,000 RPMs from first gear to second gear. And that's a bit high in my opinion because on the previous trucks we've tested before, that shifting point is way lower and that hurts 
your fuel economy numbers when you always have to shift from a higher RPM. But overall, I think the BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is a solid pickup truck. And it rides well, it has decent fuel economy, and you have the added benefit of not having to worry about your maintenance schedules because Mazda is throwing in a 5-year free PMS. So overall, yeah, the Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is an attractive pickup truck to have. The Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is priced at 1,858,000 pesos. Now to put that into perspective, that's just 68,000 pesos more than the standard BT50 4x4. With the added features, the improved looks, and not to mention the slight improvements in the riding characteristics make the BT50 Pangolin Edition an attractive package to get. But more importantly, you get to help the Philippine Pangolin. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. This is Jamil Lacuna of AutoIndustria.com.